YTBC was the deal. So this fight was overlooked this weekend by all the other fights that's going on. Marco Huck, uh, he stops a la Afalabi. Um, Afalabi could not uh, come out for the 10th round. So after the 10th round was over, or the 11th round, so after the 10th round was over, the referee took a look and um, just his eye was completely shut. But the fight starts off, you know, Huck comes out very wild, very aggressive, you know, throwing, um, you know, exploding with combinations and spurts, uh, fighting his fight, you know. And then I say around, so the first few rounds are like that. Aflabi was trying to use a jab, trying to come in behind a jab. Uh, Huck was fighting extremely dirty in his fight with the rabbit punchings and the grabbing and spinning around. I um, mean, but, you know can't blame Huck because Afalabi had opportunity to return the dirty tricks, you know what I mean? But he didn't. But um, it was funny because then Huck started to go on his back foot a little bit with his high guard, and, and uh, he was forcing Afalabi to come forward. And he was, and either he was throwing, his jab, was, um, his jab wasn't enough. Huck would just explode with combinations over the jab, or Afalabi would overcommit with his right hand sometime, or he'll just be on the inside on Huck, had him against the ropes, and really didn't get that much work off. Um, didn't seem like there was much on his punches. Um, Huck just dominated him, man. He just he he just knew when to throw those combinations and spurts at the right time. But he was very um, just wild in his fight to me, the first few rounds especially. But um, I like to see what he does. You know, he's coming back from his uh, loss to Glowacki, so I'm looking to see if he's going to see what um, try to get a rematch. Maybe I know Glowacki has a fight coming up with Cunningham. Um, so I'm interested to see what he's going to do. Um, me personally, I would like to see him fight Alexander Usyk, maybe Amarius Breedis. Um, those would be some good fights. But Marco Huck gets a victory. Um, kind of wild in the fight, but he did what he had to do, you know. But um, he was out working. Um, he was, you know, he was out working off the lobby. And then even after the ninth round, Huck got a point deducted. He was hitting after the bell. Typical Huck, man. Like he, you know, he's known for his rabbit punching. You know, although he is a good fighter, you know, but he's known for his for his rabbit punching. I'm curious to see if he'll consider going back up to heavyweight. You know, he had a good performance against Alexander Pavekin when he did go up there. Um, so I'm curious to see what he's going to do. But this is four time fighting Afalabi, and Afalabi never got a, a victory over him. Although I did um, think that Afalabi probably won that second fight, but nevertheless, uh, Marco Huck. Three wins with the one draw against Afalabi. He is now the IBO Cruiserweight Champion. I don't really count that as a major title. Um, so I'm curious what he's going to do. Is he going to vacate that title? Is he going to keep it and defend it? Or is he going to look for bigger and better fights? Probably with one of the four sanctioned bodies. Um, most likely the WBO since he, he was their reigning champion for such a long time. Just getting this result out there. YTBC. I'm out.